Hey everybody, welcome back. So, I've uh, adjusted the audio levels a little bit, so hopefully the audio is a little bit better when it comes to the cutscenes. Okay, so as we figured out last time, we have to do the four main missions, but I kind of want to see what, what the other stuff is going on. Uh, brawny blacksmiths. The blacksmiths of Highwall have been trying to make their bodies burlier for smithing. They train day and night and now get them what they need to be in top shape for work. Oh yeah, I have enough. Uh, they finally achieved peak perfec perception. Eh, perfection. And they're ready to get back to work. They formed the Hylian Blacksmith Guild is now and will now make weapons suited for warriors. Now can use to the Blacksmith Guild. Hmm. By fusing weapons with your base weapon, you can forge into something even stronger you could sell any unneeded weapons to. Thank you. You Huh. Hello. Okay, fuse weapons. Let's see what we have here. Raise a Base weapons level and power by fusing with other weapons. These are consumed, but will pass. Will pass on one or more seals that augment a weapon. If more, if the consumed weapons level, what level is higher? Okay. Um. Using material, this. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna gain two levels, and it's gonna keep the ability. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so we still got the training sword, and I'm not entirely sure if it's solely weapon dependent. Uh, I'll lock that one. I'm gonna put smaller sword into this one. Might as well lock this one too. What the? Oh, maybe I could only lock so many at a time. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, since I don't really care about this one, but I care more about this one, how about we try to see what happens when I try to fuse this one into this one? <laughs> okay, so it's gonna keep the first ability, lose the second one. Uh, let's start fusing <laughs> these swords into the soldier's broadsword to make it as good as possible. Okay, so it's gonna gain a second ability slot because of that, and it's now my best weapon. Well, technically, I could. Hmm. True branch. Uh, the boomerang might actually have different attacking properties. So I'm going to check that out, but I don't think it does. I think it's one-handed, two-handed spear. 
those are the those are the two types. <laughs> yes. Uh, makes me kind of wish I saved the other traveler sword now that I knew that it was gonna get multiple, like from leveling up. Oh well. Uh, would be kind of interesting if the boomerang, like, actually, like, when you throw it, it goes further out, and if attack range would help with that. But kind of don't want to chance it. Okay, so, uh, so let's remove the lock off of that one. Uh, let's put all of the weapons that don't have an ability into this. Looks like you could only combine five weapons at a time. So now we have an empty space. Uh, for our last one, what will we actually put into it? Special attack, flare rush, strong attack. Um. Hmm. You know, I'm probably gonna just add. Okay, so the second I hit level 5, that is when it goes. So there is a chance that I'm actually going to be able to put multiple skills onto it. So I'll just hold back and I will... And I will put this one on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Shika Tablets. Healing item effect. Uh, I'll lock that one. Oh, wait. Let's actually equip this one. That one's equipped. Uh, I'm really tempted to put the Traveler Sword into this one as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. Might as well put the um, boomerang into the uh, training sword then. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. Uh, uh, I'm going to equip this one. That one is equipped. Uh, put that one in. Put that one in. No. I'm going to leave that one un, um, unfused, <laughs> just so I keep the ability, like, sitting around. Okay. And I've already <laughs> fused all the weapons I need. Okay. That's the food. Uh, we'll do the training ones last. So, Lizolfos trophies. Uh, Moblin trophies. Okay. Still have yet to find uh, Thistles or Am Anorath. I do remember that, at least in the base game, you could find Mighty Thistles right here. Like, if I can actually, like... Assuming I can't. Like right there is a fairy is the fairy fountain and you could find thistles there. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find thistles in this area. Uh, so I guess I'll just leave that open. Merchant arrives. 
So I'll use 100 of the Lizalfos and the Durian I found. Okay, with the renovations complete, plus the deluxe fruit you bought, you brought, Stable Master finally held the grand reopening of a stable. You're not welcome to drop at any time. The outskirts stable is now available. Uh, the traveling merchants of Highwall are s have set up a trade association of sorts. As a result, you can now purchase rare items at stables that traveling merchants have visited. Uh, for fish. I don't think we need fish in any of this stuff currently. Hmm. We'll do this though. You did well. Uh the honey and honeycomb. With honey and honeycomb, the owner of the field can lure bees into the pumpkin patch. The goblins hate the bees. That fixed everything, so the shop owner is happily back at work. High spirits produce. So I guess this is where I buy fruit. Yes. So that's basically the stuff from from the shop that's in there. And so this is fish. Uh, what does the stable open up? I need five of each bug, which means I'm probably gonna have to do something that involves going up the trees. So, as I as I mentioned, Lizalfos, the tails. But I need 100 for that, and it gives me plus one for Link. I was to do this one next. Oh, because beetles. Okay. Uh, what is... Uh, an ethereal stone? I have no idea what that is. Uh, yes. I refuse to be anything less than capable. When you gave Princess Zelda the monster parts, her eyes lit up and she rushed off to continue her work on the Sheikah Sleet expansion. The new research would probably proceed smoothly now. So now she has a bonus combo of doing two strong attacks plain. That is good, considering that uh, her doing a basic combo before was kind of painful. Uh, got enough fish to actually do this, so I might as well. After he helped to gather the seafood in Lorien Village Festival, the stable master was able to focus on his work again. He has reopened his stable to the public. Lakeside stable is now open. Um, mushrooms. Okay, so this gives me a plus the link. This gives me a plus to Impa, and even though I really like Impa, um, Link is going to kind of be our main character, and he's going to be used a lot more often. So I think it would be in our best interest to actually do this trophy first. Okay, the Swordmaster was delighted to see Link return to the classroom with proof of Lizalfo's defeat. She passed along the good news to the villagers. Okay, so... Uh, four, then heavy. Uh, yes. So, um... Hmm. I, I kind of want to go into the big levels after I do these. So, recommend a little four recommend a level 5. So how about we do this one first? Uh, cooking effect. Movement speed, damage, um, defense.
the one that is gonna take the least t um toll on the stuff that I have is probably the fish. <sighs> And I'm actually very glad that you can't double stack cooking stuff, probably until later. Um, so, uh, I was actually really hoping, uh, to get, oh wait, uh, no I don't think, uh, I don't think it's going to activate a cutscene since it's side stuff, so I might as well talk about this while it loads. I was hoping to actually get art for my Zelda stuff, but... That kind of fell through, so maybe I will get it at some point, but for right now, I'll just probably use the, um, the generic character that I have. Uh, but if I actually run into the exact armor set that is supposed to be in that image, I'm definitely using it. Well, I already have the boots, which I use the soldier's boots, and they use... Um, the Hylian tunic, and then I use the, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the, uh, uh, the other one. Dang it. Okay, mastering the remote bomb. <laughs> Probably not going to do as much as I thought it was going to. Oh, is it? it? I to aim up that whole time, it didn't let me. memory part, less damage from enemies. Okay. Ethereal stone. A mysterious stone brought back from an otherworldly battleground. It must have some use. So this is basically time crystal. It actually kind of is oddly reminiscent of the type of gemstones that you see in uh, Ocarina of Time. When you go, you know, when you pull out the Master Swords, you go into, like, uh, the spirit area, and you see all the, like, the blue water, like, cascading down. Kind of looks like that crystal, actually. 
Which probably makes sense, since that's supposed to be like a Temple of Time type thing. Stealth Fin Trout. Looks kind of different, but okay. Uh, Keys Trophies with a Fire Wing. Thankfully, we actually got one of those. And a Wiz Robe Trophy. Not sure how many of those we had beforehand, but nice to see we actually have one. Okay. Hmm? Cutscene. Oh, wait. Start going back here. I was like, well, what's going on? Uh, looks like he wants me to travel to this one next. Uh, this one is recommended level 6, this one's recommended level 5. Uh, let's see. Uh, we mostly needed Lizalfos, so... There is a merchant right there now. Hmm. Oh! It's not the place, it's the vendor. Okay, so opening up more vending spots gives us more opportunities to sell things. So, okay. Uh, so if we need any of these things, going to a, going to a static store would be better. Uh, we might as well wait either for a bug seller or a um, green or green yeah F wild greens um, that's a good way to say it plants vegan substitutes that's it um, special conditions time limited interesting if time is limited, I should probably uh, go damage up, since I don't want to spend too long taking out enemies. Since I know that we're going into another living stream, I might as well bring this up. Um, so, I actually, um, if you're just watching this series of me watching this, or playing this. Uh, I had a series going on where I was going through Breath of the Wild. The problem with that is I ran into two problems. One is that my editor, Flash, had a kind of a hard time uploading videos at some point uh, on his end because I would send him the video, he would put in the editing stuff, um, I, he would then send me the link, I would then uh, put in the stuff for the video, and then it would go to upload. Um, that whole process took a very long time, let's just say. Oh, my little folks. I have a feeling that I can't... I can't miss a single enemy. Okay, it looks like... You know, the little egg robot hasn't talked yet, so I guess he's just here to facilitate us... Uh... Doing... The stuff we need, as in like the um, Shika runes. Oh my gosh, what? 
I just noticed the big black arc there. Am I able to... Don't know if it had something in it, but hopefully I got whatever it was. This one can't be leaving or leaving them behind now. down and pretty good on time. On the bright side, the um... Uh, the base game had a pretty good way of uh, letting you know that an enemy was defeated because it starts fading to a darker color, you know. Just use this. Take out a bunch. Yeah, looks like that they just had a. They all just had a uh, a bunch of rupees in them. Did get the um. Did get it. I eh, probably should have broken open that, but I wasn't quite sure how many rupees I was getting from that. Uh, special attack damage. Okay, damage from enemies. Okay, I got ten of these. Meaning that I only need uh, about like, what is it like, three? I, I forget how many beetles I actually needed. Okay, so there is a. I was tr um I was using this entire time to think of like which. Um, gallery? Oh! Link, Impa, Zelda, Pura, Ravi. Okay, so characters that are playable will have their head, characters that aren't will have generic. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then all of the uh, stuff. that kind of tell us what happens in it, I guess. Oh, in case we, like, miss a um, piece of dialogue or something. Music. Records. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, still none of that. Uh... We can actually do this because we um, took out a bunch of Lizzlefos in that one. I am stronger than before. Once we tried to encroach upon Kakariko Village, found themselves ensnared by the traps, making it easy for villagers to fend them off. The scene gave Emperor inspiration for a new move. Now she's got carrot, so now she could do five regular attacks. Okay. Oh. Additional link. Uh, even in busy days, the Kakariko village innkeeper always gives something out for the goddess statue. 
Her friends fears that she is overextending herself. Perhaps Link can help with the offering. Five pumpkins which I have and enough trophies. <laughs> the, innkeeper, the innkeeper was relieved she can take a day off from fending tending to the Ghana statue. Others in the village, inspired by Link's generosity, will help with offerings uh, going forward. One extra heart. Cool. Uh, yeah, we only needed five. Okay. Uh. Hmm. It is essentially it. Uh. Could do this. For a. Had a yeah. Uh. What's the, um. Okay, there's. Yeah, there's nothing really stopping us. Uh, let's do... Hmm. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be kind of some hardy enemies, so let's take less damage from them. Okay. So, one final thing uh, that I was going to bring up was that I was trying to do Breath of the Wild back when I was first doing it. It was really tough to really do those episodes because I was on my old system where I wasn't able to record videos well, let's just say. And any videos I did record... Uh, didn't come out the best. I might actually just private like all those videos and then like, try from the beginning. But the idea was that I was going to go through, get like 100%, go through all that. Um, and now that the second game is on the horizon, I might... I might try to... Um, Oh, I actually like There we go. Bunch of demise monsters? Wait, wait, hold on a second. Demise monsters? Oh, uh, defeat the monsters in the breach of demise. Oh, I got that weird. I'm sorry. I, for a second, I thought they were actually referring to these creatures as as uh, creatures of demise. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That was kind of cool. Defeated all the monsters. This went a lot uh, faster than I thought I was going to. Do the guy at me, the jerk. Okay, so there's... I saw that golden material. Ooh. 
Okay. So just like in the original game, uh, not Hyrule Warriors, but like in the original like Breath of the Wild, uh, the gold material is now the rarer materials that you would get from actual enemies. That's kind of cool. Okay. I don't need to worry about the small guys as much. Perform on enemies doing a spin attack. I got one. Ooh. Gold material again. Always nice to pick those up. There we go. Although I probably could have explored a little bit more like over See if there was some hidden items back there. The only downfall of this is that... Damage to mid-air enemies, huh. Okay, so now I got a second version of the uh, beetles we need. Got a bunch of trophies now. I even got some modeling guts. That's neat. Now, does anything new pop up? Come on, show it to me. Oh, we're at night now. It's kind of interesting. Didn't realize that we were on a day-night cycle. Okay, it looks like we've actually gotten everything. Uh, the only things that we basically have left is stuff that we don't actually have the materials for. Um, uh, mushrooms. Same stuff. No merchant. Forgot to check to see if there was anything last time as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like that. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to buy some of each of these stuff, so I have it in stock. Uh, so how much is that? That's three, four, five, forty. Yeah, so it's so it's fifty four for like all 10 of these. Actually, yeah, I could just buy all of them without really like fear because if I really need the rupees, I'll grind for them. What do I have in here? Nothing. Huh. Well, it's highlighted with a uh, star. I could sell this opal, but I probably don't want to sell any gemstones. Uh, 
I could sell down of anything I have a surplus in until I hit a certain number. Probably like, I don't want to say even 30, maybe 50. So like, sell like three of these. Uh. Oh, I like how they separate monster parts and uh, item parts. Non-edible. Okay. I'll try to um uh yeah visit all the shops. Uh mm. 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 Like, this is definitely kinda wasteful, but Mm. Just want to make sure I have all them plays. Huh? Okay. So with that done, uh, I'll see you guys next time when I actually go into a fluffle this time. Uh, see you guys then.